focus on your breath. Try to make the breath your home. In other words, you move into a house and you have to decorate it and you have to adjust things so it's a comfortable place to stay. And it's the same with the breath. Look at it for a while and see what you like about it right now, what you don't like about it. Is it too heavy, too light, too deep, too shallow? Well, you can make changes, adjust it so that it's a comfortable place for you to stay. Because if the mind doesn't have a comfortable place to stay right here, it's going to go wandering around. It's like a person without a home. You have trouble finding real shelter, you have trouble finding real food. Of course, you have a home for the mind. Okay, you've got your shelter, and you can make the breath your food. You can make goodwill your food, all kinds of good topics that you can bring to mind. And if you find that you're filling your home with junk, okay, you can just toss it out. All the old attitudes that used to drive you crazy, the things that you used to be obsessed about, you can sort through them and say, okay, what's really worthwhile here and what can be thrown away? And this way it becomes a comfortable place to stay right here. So it's not just the technique of staying with the breath, it's also your attitude, it's your sense of values about what you really want to carry around with you. Because the th thoughts you carry around, those are going to those are going to become your karma. And maybe some past karma coming in, and, but it's your present karma that's the real issue right now. Because past things can come in good or bad. It's like things being sent to your house, and you have the right to say no. But if your attitude in the present moment isn't right, you'll find yourself accepting all kinds of stuff, taking on all kinds of stuff that you don't have to. So straighten out your attitudes as well. Straighten out your breath, straighten out your attitude. Then it becomes a good place to stay in here. Whatever old things are good, you hold on to them. Whatever or not, you let them go. As for new things, you're in a position to say no a lot more easily, both because you've got a sense of well-being with the breath and because you realize you have the choice. It's not the case that everything that comes up in the mind has to be your thought. It's just a thought that comes coming through. Like a John Lee's image of the thoughts of the germs in your blood and the thoughts of the spirits around. You don't really know where these thoughts come from, but you do know that you have a choice. This is a lesson you should take with you wherever you go. Whatever comes up in the mind, you have the choice to go with it or not. And even if it's an old habit and it's really compelling, you can develop the strength of mind and the insight that says, no, I don't have to go there, if you see that it's unskillful. So if you want to boil everything down, what the Buddha said, it's basically that your actions are important and you can choose what to do. So choose well. That's a lesson you can take with you wherever you go. That's how you clean out the house and how you make sure that it doesn't get cluttered up with new stuff. This way you can find you really live here in the present moment. And even though circumstances outside may not be all so good, I was reflecting back in the past year and a lot of things were not very good this year. And we kept Everyone kept saying, Happy New Year, Happy New Year. Well, saying Happy New Year is a nice thought and it's welcome, but it doesn't necessarily make the year happy. What makes the year happy is your ability to deal with whatever comes up so it doesn't clutter up the mind, doesn't place any unnecessary suffering on the mind. That's how you give yourself a New Year's blessing. That's how you bless yourself wherever you go this home that you can take with you. That's the good part about it. It's not just here at the monastery. It's where it, you can make this place your home, here in the present moment, wherever the present moment happens to be.